Asbestos concerns at another Philadelphia school, and now parents are demanding action. Eyewitness News reporter Crystal Cramore is live outside of Thomas and Pierce Elementary School in North Philadelphia with more on this story. Crystal, good morning. Good morning. Well, the drama unfolding here at TM Pierce Elementary only adding to the asbestos related concerns plaguing the school district. Now, we've been covering stories as it relates to SLA and the Ben Franklin High School. Now, parents here at TM Pierce Elementary School are dealing with the same thing, and they're expected to tour a new campus later today. As parents, our trust is broken. Now, outraged parents packed a room at Pierce Elementary to express their concern about how the school district of Philadelphia handled the asbestos and lead problem in this North Philadelphia school building. The Philadelphia Federation of Teachers first flagged asbestos concerns in mid-September, but the district says abatement did not start until late October. District leaders previously considered moving students to Leslie P. Hill Elementary and to Anna Pratt Early Childhood Learning Center. We're told neither of those buildings are move-in ready at this time. Now, during the meeting on Monday, Monday night, the district proposed a plan to move students from Pierce into a different school on Henry Avenue. If it's a go, the district will relocate students on December 2nd. We're determining, based on the, that move, when the children will return. Um, and that's the conversation that we want to have with the community. And we want to make sure that we hold your feet to the fire and that you're going to do everything that it is that you said you're going to do. Now, if parents agree on the Henry Avenue location, students will be bused back and forth from Pierce to that location. Now, coming up on Eyewitness News at 6, we're told that TM Pierce Elementary School was supposed to be replaced. But coming up, I'll tell you why the district says its hands are tied, at least for now. We're live in North Philadelphia. Crystal Cranmore, CBS3 Eyewitness News. Thank you, Crystal.